Hello everyone, we have patch notes 1.109. So for the new hero, we have a new Hypogean hero, Olgath the Bane Blast. And as always, we have the test play for Olgath, and we have the Bountiful Trials and the Guild Trials uh, for the new Hypogean hero. And new additions and optimizations. Added the adventure Glacial Calamity to the Voyage of Wonders. Uh, added a new beast, Phantasmoth. Adventurers can enter beast grounds and learn and capture them. Uh, added a new adventure for Fantastic Beasts Lost in uh, Reverie, which will be available after this update. Adventurers can play it by completing uh, Chapter 14. A new feature, Zero Limit, will be included in the adventure where players can choose their preferred challenge, difficulty, and battle to win honorable rewards. So, a new Fantastic Beasts, or uh, Beasts, yeah. Uh, zero Limit. Can't wait to see what that look, what that's all about. Choosing your own difficulty here sounds sounds very uh, promising. Uh, added settings for gear equip preference after completing stage 10, 22. Adventurers can change their uh, gear equip preference in the settings. Uh, added settings for gear resonance preference after completing stage 1940. Adventurers can change their gear resonance preference in the settings. Um, added the effect Upsearch Pursuit for each tower in the King's Tower feature, and the maximum number of floors that can be challenged is changed to cumulative 60. The changes will take effect after chapter 1940. So um, adding a new effect here, the King's Tower, maximum number of floors that can be challenged is changed to 60 here, so giving us 60 challenges for uh, the King's Tower it looks like. And optimized the display of the portraits page and added a filter button. Adventurers can now uh, filter heroes in the portraits page by faction and class. Um, this is something that I kind of wanted for a little bit was a filter for the portraits. Instead of having to scroll down through all the portraits to find the hero that you want, you can just go through a filter and choose a, a faction or a class. Optimize the battle performance cost in certain features. Uh, actual battle effects remain unchanged. Uh, adjusted the level of enemies within chapters 20 through 26 of the campaign. So if you're in chapters 20 through 26, the levels of the enemies will uh, be adjusted here. And reduce the difficulty and combat rating restrictions for certain stages from chapter 52 to 55 of the campaign. So again, if you're in chapter 52 through 55, that will uh, be for you, reducing the difficulty and combat rating restrictions. Uh, hero adjustment and changes, starting with Warrick the Untamed, optimized his animate, animated visuals and skill effects, and increased his character model's resolution for HD mode, so optimizing how Warrick looks. So yeah, uh, Warrick looked a little pixely, but now, now hopefully they're going to update his resolution here to HD. Uh, Pippa the Muddled Magician fixed the Pippa's intent. Imitation ultimate skill, which was causing battles to freeze in extreme conditions. Uh, Belinda Spark of Hope fixed an issue that caused the skill Cleansing Flame to malfunction on certain widescreen devices. In some circumstances, actual battle effects remain unchanged. And we have Tamaris the Jungle Roamer fixed an issue where skill descriptions were incorrect in some languages. Actual battle effects remain unchanged. And that looks to be all the heroes here. Um, I can't wait to see the, I can't wait to see the new, uh, uh new Hypogean hero, Olgath. Can't wait to see how the new beast looks as well. We have the new beast and also the new, uh, fantastic beast as well. Hey, if you've made it this far into the video and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to watch my newest video, check out the video that's on screen now. And thanks for watching.